Hi there, my name is Taylor Coplin. A few days ago, I got a comment on a video on how to make marker cues uh, within a cue stack in the MA software. So I thought I would make a video and go over it since I'm sure a couple other people have the same question. So there's a couple ways to do it. The easiest way is to just hit store and then store into a empty executor. And that will make a starter queue here. You can just call it marker or marker queue, right? And then, you know, you could start making your looks or whatever and program on and create that queue stack that way. And then, so say like you have a position set for your lights, right? You would take your lights from this queue, right? And then you can go in and edit your position. And then you take out your intensity and then store it into your marker queue. And that way, whenever you bring it up, they don't like whip upwards. And same thing goes for like, you know, your colors or gobos, or prisms, iris, zoom, whatever. You can put it in your marker queue and then just have whatever queue you want your light to be seen. Bring up the dimmer and you'll see it. That's one way to do it. But let's say that you started programming something. Okay. And, you know... Say like, this is the uh, first look, all right? And you go, oh crap, like, you know, I actually wanted to, I wanted to uh, have a marker cue there because my first look, when I bring it up, you know, the lights, they whip into place and that doesn't look good. Well, what we can do is we can say, we go to our command line and we can say, select executor. And then I'm on page one, so we're gonna say one, and then the executor number, and I'm on eight. So I'm gonna say 1.8 right there, select executor 1.8, hit enter. You can see this thing right here is highlighted, and now I can just say, you know, I can say store queue, and then I can say 0 0.5. Hit okay. And now there's a queue before our first queue look, and then we can say, um, you know, marker queue. There you go. That's another way to do it. You can also, let's see. So we'll store into here, and we'll call this one first look as well. What we can also do is you can just say um, store executor, okay? And then you're gonna select which one it is. So I'm on page one and then I'm shooting for this new one that we just put down here. So 1.11 and we can say Q and then 0 0.5. And it's gonna do the same thing as we did before, but instead of taking the selection of that Q stack first, uh, I am just telling it to store the executor. And now you have a marker queue and you can just store merge into these, which is pretty awesome. Marker cues. So I, I just did a show this past weekend and it was very Q stack heavy. I had about 625 cues and I had lots of marker cues throughout my Q stacks. And at the start of each song, I had a marker cue and, you know, I had to use this tip that I just shared with y'all because I programmed my first look, I got excited and then I had to go back and go, Oh, well, you know, I can't start the song and have the lights be changing or like scrolling through a color wheel, you know, when you bring on the lights. So I had to go back and make my marker cues. So anyways, I hope this has helped. And if it has, make sure you subscribe, like the video. It helps me out. I would love to be at 500 subscribers by the end of May. That's a huge goal of mine and I can't do it without y'all. So that'd be awesome. I will see you on the next one. Peace.